What is a jigsaw puzzle? Who created the first one? What happens when you drink from the Pyrian spring? What is the origin of the word nicotine? All this and more coming up. Do keep watching. But first, if you haven't already, please subscribe to The English Nut on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. A jigsaw puzzle is a type of puzzle in which there are several interlocking pieces, each containing a part of a picture. When you put all the pieces together, you get to see the complete picture. Today jigsaw puzzles are made of cardboard, paperboard or acrylic, but originally they were made of wood. The first one was created in 1762 by a map engraver called John Spilsbury. He mounted a world map on a piece of wood and cut along the borders of the countries so that each country became a separate piece. He gave the puzzle to a local school to help the students with their geography lessons. Spilsbury's map puzzle was a hit and it was soon copied by others. The puzzle makers also started using other educational images such as farms and religious scenes. These puzzles were initially called dissected puzzles and not jigsaw puzzles. The name changed to jigsaw puzzle around 1880 when jigsaws started being used to cut the puzzles. Spilsbury had used a marquetry saw to cut his puzzle. The children of King George III and Queen Charlotte were taught geography using dissected maps by the royal governess Lady Charlotte Finch. Around the mid-1800s, jigsaw puzzles started becoming popular not just with children but adults too. At this time, a puzzle called the Star of the West showing an adult with a horse was created, clearly aimed at grown-ups. Jigsaw puzzles saw a sharp rise in popularity during the Great Depression. It was a cheap and durable form of entertainment that helped keep one's mind off the dire economic scenario. There was a similar surge in popularity during the COVID-19 pandemic when people were stuck at home and had to find ways to entertain themselves. Today, jigsaw puzzles typically feature mountains, other scenes from nature, castles and houses. While most puzzle pieces are cut in abstract shapes, some jigsaw puzzles contain whimsy pieces, pieces cut into recognizable shapes related to the theme of the puzzle. For example, a jigsaw puzzle with a visual of an African safari might have a piece cut in the shape of an elephant. This tradition was started by Victorian era puzzle makers. The pieces are called whimsy pieces because they are cut into a particular shape on the whim of the puzzle maker. While jigsaw puzzles made for children have fewer pieces, those made for adults range from 300 to more than 50,000 pieces. In 2022, a puzzle called What a Wonderful World came out. It contains 60,000 pieces and covers an area of more than 21 square meters. The Pyrian Spring is considered the source of knowledge, inspiration and learning. It is a fountain in Pyria that according to Greek mythology was sacred to the Muses. The nine Muses are the goddesses of human inspiration. Calliope, for example, is the muse of eloquence and heroic poetry. The Pyrian Spring became popular thanks to two lines from an essay on criticism, which is a 1711 poem by English poet Alexander Pope. A little learning is a dangerous thing. Drink deep or taste not the Pyrian Spring. Their shallow draughts intoxicate the brain and drinking largely sobers us again. Here's how you can use it in a sentence. Jamal told his junior writers to drink deeply from the Pyrian spring if they wanted to be successful. The story she was trying to write did not work out and she realized she needed another drink from the Pyrian spring. After reading her wonderful essay, I realized she had drunk deeply from the Pyrian spring. A little learning is a dangerous thing, as Pope says, because it makes you believe you understand something properly when in fact you don't, leading you to misinterpret the facts. Alexander Pope's poem had two other lines which have become proverbial statements. To err is human, to forgive divine is the first one. It means everyone makes mistakes and forgiving them is a good and moral thing to do. The second one is, for fools rush in where angels fear to tread. It means that foolish people may get involved in risky situations that wise people would avoid. 
Pope was only 23 when he wrote the poem and it's remarkable that a few phrases from it are popular to this day. Nicotine is the chemical in tobacco that keeps you hooked to smoking. There is also something called nicotine replacement therapy that helps you quit smoking. But do you know the derivation of the word nicotine? It is originally a French word that was derived from the name of Jean Nico. Nico was the ambassador of France to Portugal. In 1560, he sent back tobacco seeds to the Queen of France, Catherine de Médicis, thus introducing tobacco in France. He also introduced the royal court to the practice of using crushed tobacco leaves for snuffing, which means inhaling a substance through the nose. His efforts led to the cultivation of tobacco in France and other parts of Europe. In 1753, Swedish naturalist Carolus Linnaeus named the genus of tobacco cultivars Nicotiana in Nico's memory. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now.